And the Knicks from the West Coast embraced me first. That's hard. Yeah. Kenyatta, um, Kimball, okay. Dezo. Oh, wow. Now Kimball and Dezo. Yeah. They from the jungle. I'm a stone. So they, the stones is in the jungle. That's yeah. crazy. Man. Yeah. So That's they embraced hard. me. Common was beefing at the time. Bro was beefing with Q. And they told me, hey, man, let your boy Common know some real ones out here in L.A. F*** with him. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. You got to be patient. And without faith, you can't have patience. Without yeah. patience, you can't have I faith. Think, mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? You got to have both. Come on so now. at the end of the day, I'm able to work with everybody when it comes down to thinking that way. Talk, boss. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that's the, the, that's the only way to deal with people that you love mm -hmm. and not detach yourself from them. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've proven my love to everybody. They've not proven their love to me. I get it. I you know, know what I'm saying? And it's that time. Yeah, mm -hmm. but in, now, in, now it's the harvest. Now it's the harvest time. Let me harvest what you planted. Y'all been harvesting what I planted. Yeah. You but, know, y'all ain't but, never went without. Y'all got God. bombed out of jail. Y'all got y'all kids fed. Y'all got y'all rent paid. Now I got to move to a new season because I can't have God being like, uh-uh. No, no, I no. told you, leave that alone. You already done enough. You done that. Yeah. Let them do for you. If they don't do it, they just don't do it. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad. No. But at the end of the day, you know, even on Spider-Man, they say, uh, to who much is given. Much is required. And great I did all. Power comes great. great responsibility. There you go. So you already know what will come with leadership. No so question. at the end of the day, you are that one. Mm -hmm. And there ain't no way to get off around that. No way. Go ahead. Okay. I got a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, earlier you said you went to prison. Um, what was the, How old were you the first time whenever you got in trouble? I, didn't, I never went to prison. I've been in jail. jail. And I went to um, Illinois Youth, uh, how how old I uh, the first like, time. First time I got arrested, I think I was 13, 14. 13. And I heard you mention that you've been in jail 28 times? No, I've had 82 uh -huh. arrests. 82 arrests. Mm -hmm. So how many of that end up being in jail? Uh, only like four or five times, man. So, oh, so you're lucky. Yeah. Lawyers, man. Blessed. Now lawyers. You know, um, that's Not the, lawyers. The, the thing I, I listened to you earlier and you said, about uh, conscious rap, you wasn't really in with that. I'm not a conscious rapper, I'm not a conscious MC. I think a lot of people hide behind consciousness to make whack music, that music that people don't wanna fucking really hear, and they hide behind it. I'm with music that matters, music that makes a statement. I'm with that, I like music that uplifts people, that makes people feel something, but I'm not, like, oh, if you're a conscious MC, I'm just going to follow you because you're a conscious MC because you're not a conscious person if you're not living that way. But when you think about you guys, you got Chance the Rapper, you got mm -hmm. uh, Common up there from mm -hmm. Chicago. Like, mm -hmm. um, these guys are guys that basically, uh, that's a lot of the where that, that terminology comes from. It does because, you know, what you got to stand, these niggas is having real conversations out here, though. Yeah. These niggas is having real conversations. They really saying... Words, they're not, you know, I mean, think about Common with, you know, talking about fighting motherfuckers and whack MCs. And I remember when Common and Drake was into when they, it. When they were going in. Yeah, when Common and Drake was into it, when Common was into it with Ice Cube. Hold on, let me acknowledge this guy that just came on the set. Uh, you got the headphones right here, man. Yada, uh, yada. This here is Ken Yada Sands, man. This guy right here is one of the reasons you on the platform today. It's my brother. I like to always keep it 100 on Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And this guy right here has been very, very, you know, dear to me too. You know, my family, brother. man. So I got to I got I got to point that out. But and then also his love for music, being one that love the music, being one that uh, uh, he he loves to play the instruments, and he, he just got a love for music. And being with a brother like you, I couldn't help but put him on the panel, man. Thank you for coming on Boss Talk One Hundred and One, man. Man, you're welcome, bro. Yeah, man. I so, love this show. <laughs> thank you, Boss man. Boss Talk One Hundred and One. If y'all don't know, y'all better know. <laughs> Man. Yada was one of the first people that embraced me in this in this whole entire industry. That's all. I, explain. So I didn't know about the clothing game. I did come into clothing early, but I came into it from the freights. Okay. So we was hitting freights and selling the clothes to some of the Korean um, clothiers and retailers that couldn't get the accounts. They couldn't get cross color. They couldn't get Carl Kana because the sales rep had their relationships with a lot of the Jewish uh, shopkeeps. Yeah. So we would hit the freights, and if we could get the real shit, we'd give it to them. If we get the bootleg, we'd give it to them, whichever one. They would buy from us. And I built a relationship with a lot of the 
Muslim and Korean retailers in Chicago. Wow. So much so, they embraced me and told me about different clothing shelves, which I had no idea existed. Wow. I had no idea they existed. No idea that clothing the shelves existed, whatever that meant, right? Mm -hmm. And then I met Shabazz Brothers. Mm. And they told me about magic. Yeah. And my, this guy I was working with, um, Alvin Rodgers, from Peace Means Peace. So we came out to magic in 1996, and it was a whole nother world. They started said the magic show in Vegas. I thought they was talking about, you know, David Copperfield some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. everybody said. Yeah, that's, like, a, yeah. that's what I thought too early on. I'm like, what? The magic show? Nigga, I ain't going to no motherfucking magic show. I'm going to go out there and sell some cocaine or some shit to some <laughs> motherfucking people that's. <laughs> you feel me? I'm saying to you, that's like, real. some of the people that, because you're back in the days, the guy that was moving the most cocaine was working at the hotels. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They worked there. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, right, had, right, right, right. So you. You, you sell them a half a key or something like that and they little group or a key and they distribute throughout the hotels and then you stay out here for a couple of days, you might move four keys in, in five, six days. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was beautiful. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Sweet system, but niggas got lazy and shit. So anyway, I was having- the game change too. Yeah, no. Game, game always evolving too. The game evolved because they, they catch somebody and the motherfuckers spill, a, spill the beans. Spill the beans or, or either they find a new way to uh, mess with the drugs and mm -hmm. basically they water it down. They, they, it down, they, they, it they run the game, mess the game up. So it's a whole bunch, man. man. They're not, they not business That's right. Man. So when I came into the clothing shit, I, I noticed hustlers that was also businessmen that kept the integrity of this game. That's right. So- Kenyatta was one of the first people. And the niggas from the West Coast embraced me first. That's hard. Yeah, Kenyatta, um, Kimball, okay. Dezo. Oh, wow, not Kimball and Dezo. Yeah, they from the jungle, I'm a stone. So they, the stones is in the jungle. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, so they That's embraced hard. me. Common was beefing at the time. Bro was beefing with Q. And they told me, hey man, let your boy Common know some real ones out here in LA fuck with them wow. cuz we was under the impression that everybody in LA was against us you, you think know? like that you know? yeah i mean I, I knew i knew dj quick shout out blood you know i knew dj quick amg second to none c no i knew them but i didn't really know nobody else i knew pac but i ain't really but pac was like moving around going to jail all that kind of shit you know what i'm saying so he was not outside of our purview at that point and i'm like, you know i'm with the henchmen from new york so it's all the kind of these dynamics going on, but niggas overlooked that and seen that I had some, you know, I was righteous first of all, upright, stand up guy, and these niggas embraced me and kind of let me into their clique. Man, let me say this, man. They little group that, it's hard to get into them with these men yeah, like yeah. that, that's in the game, yeah. they make they live not this game, but they don't want nobody coming here fucking it up. No, 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 and, 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 and rightfully so. I was just told you about how, how we just, you gotta be careful on how you deal in death. Ooh. You gotta deal with, with things delicately when you when it's got a purpose and it's something culture driven. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, just think about this, man. You just say Pac, you know, he was going to jail. I just had somebody else on here say Pac, he was really quiet and he didn't even deal. You have so many elements of Pac, bro. You I interviewed so many people. Gemini, that they bro. They felt so many different ways about Pac, and each one of them was totally different. Right. That's crazy, right? Like, yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. He was deep, he was laid back. He never did this. Yeah, when oh. the lights go on, it's a whole different <laughs> dude. But when the lights go off, he be in the corner. That's hard, somewhere, man. You know? I just I had to say that. But anyway. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.